fast forward, it's spring and we wanna use the trailer again. So we're gonna come in here and get the antifreeze out of the system and get some clean water through the system. So we're gonna start where we ended um, and we're going to shut off the uh, winterizing hose. So we're gonna turn the valve and we're gonna um, turn the pump on if we're gonna use the tank. In this case, we have the city water hooked up, but we'll go ahead and open this um, for future use so that it's open when you fill your tank. Uh, and then you'll reinstall your step with your screws. And for um, this demonstration, I'm just gonna throw it up here. Uh, I'm sure you can, oops, figure out how to put the screws back in there. Um, so we've got that taken care of. We're gonna go out here and we're gonna cap our tank. So in the fall when we winterized, uh, we went ahead and put everything in the water heater door here so we would know where everything was stored. And right where we left it is the cap. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the uh, fresh tank. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap back on. We're good there. All right, and we've got city water hooked up here, uh, so we're not gonna fill the tank for this demonstration, but you could fill your tank with fresh water now and uh, use the tank and the pump to push clean water through. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and run some water through and it'll start coming out clear. I'm gonna open each one of these. So this is clear. Shower should be getting cleared up, and it is. Go ahead and rinse this. And this is clear, so I'm gonna shut it off. This is clear. Now that's clear, and then we'll just check the kitchen sink. And it's got a little bit still. All right, it's completely clear. So we're good there. All right, so now we're gonna leave the valves and we're gonna go put the uh, rod back in the water heater. You do this last because you don't wanna push any antifreeze through your water heater. That would be corrosive to the tank. So we definitely don't wanna do that. Do that nice and tight, and then now we can change our valves inside. All right. So now we're gonna reverse these. Now this is a common call that we get in the spring. Um, they're using their trailer and they're getting spurts of hot water, or they think their water heater is not working. Um, and actually what they've done is left um, this bypass open. And so when they're pulling from the hot, it's actually pulling cold into the hot side. And so they'll be taking a shower, it'll be hot, then it'll get cold. Um, that's a, a common thing that people miss. And so I just wanna bring that to everyone's attention. We wanna make sure that we close this 
so that it's not pulling cold into this hot side. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this. We're gonna fill the water tank now with clean water. We should be good to go. So if you're winterizing or dewinterizing and you have questions, you run into something you're not expecting, please just feel free to give us a call. That's what we're here for. We'll be happy to help you. Take care.